Hello everyone, Random Gamer Riven here, the editor of Randomized Gaming. I'm not going to fully voice over this video, but I am going to give you a quick introduction as this is the first Nintendo Switch game we've actually done on the channel. And I thought now was a perfect time to actually look at the classic 1985 Sega arcade game Space Harrier. That might come as a surprise to many of you, but no, we've never actually covered Space Harrier on the channel to date. Even though we do actually have the Sega Saturn and the 32X version as well on top of versions and Shenmue etc etc has been released in so many ports these days. But I thought now was the perfect time to take a look at it in its probably definitive version these days on the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch version is actually based off of the 3DS version M2 did back in 2012 but it includes a number of new extras including the brand new and interesting play mode known as Kamenu Barrier Attack Mode which is based off of the Kamenu Barriers YY Jumbo that's the stage 17 boss mode has and basically the barriers uh, allow you to crash through stuff without taking damage so it basically means you don't lose lives on collisions while the shield is up which is an interesting game mode as I think most people when you play Space Harry you don't tend to die because of the enemy fire because that's relatively easy to avoid it's more because you crash into stuff that tends to kill you particularly on the high speed tunnel stages which are more about actually trying to dodge the scenery as it comes flying towards you. The other really cool extra, and I'm glad M2 actually added this, was for the Sega Master System version and a number of other of the home console versions, an additional boss was added in at the end of stage 18, which is the final stage in the game, which actually nicely completes Space Harrier. In the original arcade version, after fighting YY Jumbo, stage 18 was literally a replay of a selection of the earlier bosses, and once you beat them, that was it. There was no final boss or anything. So to complete this for the home versions they added an additional boss known as Heya O. M2 added Heya O into the arcade version for the 3DS release and that has since been translated into this Nintendo Switch version which is a really nice extra. It does really n nicely round out the end of Space Harrier. I think it actually makes it a better game because of it. And this version also features widescreen here on the Nintendo Switch as did the 3DS version and it looks absolutely lovely. This really is the best way to play the iconic game Space Harrier. I don't need to say much more on it. It is such a great game. If you've never played it, then you can download it right now on the Nintendo Switch. Annoyingly, this was never released on the PlayStation or Xbox line of consoles, which was somewhat irritating. I really wish M2 had done that. I think the Sega Ages range may have done better if they had released it on other formats, although I think there might have been an exclusivity deal on this one with Nintendo. As it stands, this really is a pinnacle example of scaling sprites with how everything zoomed around the screen. If you never played it in the arcade, it was a very hectic game. I was never very good at it when I was younger because this came out when I was very young, but over the years I've come to appreciate it a lot more. It is just a fantastic shooter. I've not, not actually been able to one credit clear it myself, but I know quite a few people can do. Definitely you can learn the layout of the stages if you really spend the time to, in order to work out the best flight pattern. It is tricky but it's not unbeatable. You can actually beat this game quite reasonably on one life if you get in enough practice. So we've got two playthroughs for you in this video. The first one will be on the standard mode which includes the additional final boss and the second one will be on the Kamenu Barrier Attack mode so you can compare the difference. You do get a massive score in Kamenu Barrier Attack because you can literally crash through and destroy almost all the scenery in the game. Now while I'm talking about Sega I just want to quickly mention there is a new Sega based magazine here in the United Kingdom called Sega Powered and it's run by Dean Mortlock who previously did the Sega magazines Sega Power and Saturn Power from the 90s. And I've actually written a few features for it as well. It is a really great retro theme Sega magazine. If you're a fan of Sega, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll include a link in the description. Now, rather annoyingly, I need to point out there are a few corrupt visual frames in this video. Not many, but you may spot them if you've got a very keen eye and you're watching at 60 frames a second. Unfortunately, that is nothing to do with the Switch version of Space Harrier or Space Harrier in general. It turns out Elgato capture card technology can't cope with a 1985 arcade game at 1080p. I could just about get it to work in some tests later on 720p, but at 1080p, even at the maximum bitrate settings, 
it could not cope with it. There's just the odd corrupted fraying. They're very few and far between, but you may spot them. And that really annoyed me. I tried everything to see if I could work around it. But basically, it's a case of Elgato's capture card can't cope with the 1985 arcade game. I have a feeling it might be the way Space Harrier does the background, as I've seen this bug before in a couple of games. Not many, but there have been a couple where I've noticed we've actually had graphical glitches in the actual captured footage that weren't present in the game when I was playing it. And as always, if you enjoy our content here at Randomised Gaming, please do hit that like button to support the video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of our content. You can hit that bell button for additional notifications. And if you want to give the YouTube algorithm a proverbial kick up the backside, please do watch this video to its conclusion. That will help us greatly. Thank you very much, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Enjoy Space Harrier!
You're doing great.
get ready.